Hi Jay, this is Jeff Norton at uh, California Car Company. I uh, wanted to take a minute and just kind of walk around the car here. And uh, I took a ton of pictures of it. You're going to get all those as well. But I thought a quick video might show you a little more about the car as well. Um, I pulled it outside. It's actually been out the first time it's been outside in a while. Uh, gas is a little old in it, but uh, it's almost out of gas, so that's a good thing. Uh, top's got a few wrinkles in it, but uh, it's been down in our showroom, so I'm going to leave it out and in the sunshine for a little while and see if that'll get it to relax a little bit. Uh, when we bought the car, top was just replaced not long before that, and uh, it was nice and straight and everything, so you can see a couple of the wiggles right there. Uh, but I'm going to leave it out, let it relax some in the sunlight, and that should help. The eight lugs really set this car off. I'm really impressed with how they look. Uh, the plating on the bumpers and stuff is original to the car. And uh, I'll get up here close so you can see it. It's in really, really good shape. You can see how shiny it still is. It's got some water marks on it there. I washed it earlier and it's uh, got some water streaks in it. But you can see how nice all that still is. Um, plating's not coming off of it or anything. Grills too. We actually refinished these grills. We had the car apart. It's original lettering there. Front Pontiac emblem is the original emblem. You can see all this here, how nice all that is. Come around here. We did refinish the eight lugs, um, like I said, and uh, uh, we put these tires and everything on it at the same time. They've been repainted. And we had the drums turn. We found a local shop that was able to do that for us. So uh, you asked to look at all the gaps and stuff on it. Uh, all the gaps are really consistent on this car. Uh, when we stripped it down to bare metal, we didn't find any evidence of you know, Bondo or major collisions or anything. We'll show you how good the doors open and close on it. Put new rather stripping in there all the way around. Uh, we reused the original door sill plates. They were still in nice shape, just polished them up a little bit. Seat covers are original, seat sides are original, dash pad and everything. All that's still in nice shape. But uh, let me show you how the door closes here. I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna kinda let it go and let it, there you go. Just kinda give it a nice, light little push. Don't have to slam anything. All the thing closes up nice, it's nice and flush. Door doesn't stick out anywhere. Gas door and everything's the same way. It's nice and flush with the body. Locking gas cap, we painted inside the gas door and all that stuff. We didn't, uh, we didn't cheap out on any of that. These are the original side pieces on the quarter panels. Tail lights have got a little bit of pitting starting in the top of them. Just from age, they are die cast. But uh, you can see how nice they still are. Uh, the trunk insert, all this is original and still in good shape. It's starting to get some pitting in it in a few spots. Uh, that pop metal is starting to get uh, a few pits in it here or there. But for an original piece, it's still in really nice shape. Um, brake lights, backup lights. Uh, we put new exhaust on it too from front to rear. I'll pop the trunk for you here. Give me, I'm trying to do this left-handed here. There we go. We put a new trunk weather stripping on it. It has the optional light inside the trunk with the reel on it and the extra wire so that you could roll it out and actually work on a spare tire or under the hood if you needed to. The original inserts, and this under here is the original paint. We didn't repaint this. This is all original in here. You can see the edges of the deck lid. None of that's rotten. There's no rust holes or anything in that. Original trunk linings, original spare tire cover, original jack and the spring that holds all that in place. Yeah, these are original, they're not perfect by any means, but they're in really nice condition for the originals. Uh, trunk floor and everything under there is really nice. Uh, I have a fifth eight lug that goes with this car with a tire on it, uh, but it doesn't fit under the original spare tire cover. So this is a steel wheel uh, that was originally on the car um, with a hubcap that would go in it. And this light does go out, by the way, you let it down. See how the little the sensor works in it and everything? So that's great. Put this down and show you. Put the key in my pocket. This goes down and seals nice and tight. Just a nice little jab. That seals up. You can look at the gaps there too. See how nice those are. Back bumpers, original plating too. You can see how good a shape that's in. Let's go over here to the passenger side door. I'll show you these gaps and everything too. Nice and even. Front to rear. You know, like I said, we didn't have to do any major body work to this car. We just stripped it down and started fresh. You can see how nice the door lines up. Doesn't stick out. Original door panels. That's something that we were really impressed with with this car is that how much of the interior was original. 
the, the jams, all that was painted at the same time. So we didn't we didn't cheap out. We did it all right. Again, original dorsal plate, still in good shape. Got some minor little scuffing here and there, but it's nice for original stuff. And you can see the seat and everything on this side too. Pictures you'll see a lot more detail than this. I'm just giving you a general walkthrough. The original dash and the pad and everything on it, how nice it is. We couldn't believe how nice the wood graining still was on the dash in this car. It's really nice inside. Uh, this does have the aftermarket air conditioning unit, which you'll read about uh, in the little narrative I gave you. Um, it was added on. Uh, it's like a JCPenney unit is what they use. Uh, it does have a day-night mirror. You see the little flip switch there. Original visors, bracketry, and all that stuff still in good shape. This door, show you how nicely it closes, too. Didn't push it hard enough. That easy. Look, just, like, take your thumb and just push it and it closes too. You don't have to slam it. So one thing I like about an old car is if you can get the doors to close that easy, you know, you're doing something right and the cars are in good shape. It's always nice to start with a car that's in good condition like that that you don't have to do a lot of major adjustments to. Side trim on it. We did refinish these. We took them off and we painted the car and uh, we repainted the black inlay on it and uh, polished the outside of it. Walk you around to the side so you can see that too. Headlights, turn signals, brake lights, all that stuff works on it, horn, and all that stuff is, it's everything that we check before a car leaves our facility anyway. Um, that's all safety stuff. You know, we'll check the brakes, check all the fluids, make sure that all that stuff is up and ready to go for you. Um, you know, wipers, directionals, um, all that kind of stuff, just so that you're safe and you don't have to worry about, you know, having to go out and fix a taillight. They're old cars, things happen with old cars, but we want it to be as right as it can be before it leaves here.